Hey, what is up guys? It's Beansman1002 and I'm here today. I'm doing a house tutorial. It's a one second. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight by nine. Mm-hmm. Alright, eight by nine house. Um, this is gonna be it's it's just like a simple cottage. Don't mind this. This is just a house that got blown to shit. It was a house that Lou Aether made. He's doing a tutorial right over there. We can go visit him. Let's go visit him real quick. Alright, yeah, he's making a video also on his house that he just made. Um, but anyway, uh this is the house we're gonna be making. I'll give you a little tutorial like tour of the inside of the finished product you got this nice little path going up to this cottage with these uh flower bed on the outside it's mostly made of wool dark or i mean oak wood um there's some dark oak in it too but for the most part that's it there's chests under here uh furnace and all that good stuff furnaces over there bookshelves and then over here you have a little thing to get up to here this is where you sleep and it's also where you have like a bunch of chests and everything but anyway let's get this thing started let's kick it off uh for the first step the first step is literally the most simple thing in the world so you just lay out you go four high on each one and make sure it's a eight by seven was it yeah eight by seven I think eight by nine, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, eight by nine house. Make sure that there's in the front and the back. There's nine. Or no, shit. I'm really not freaking organized. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine in the front, eight on the sides. All right, there we go. Uh, so just build four up. All right, uh, I'll give you guys a chance to pause it and then uh, come back and you can look at the next step. All right, so um, this for the next step, it's... One second. I'm setting the... Oh, it's raining. I don't even know what the fart I'm doing. Whatever. Let's just let it rain. Um, so for this one, you you put the wool and the, some of the stairs on for the roof. You put the wool and everything in place. Um, so you go all the way across on the bottom, and then you build like you build up too thick all the way up, all four blocks up, and then you do that over here, and then on the fourth block you go all the way across like that and then you do that on this side except on this side there's gonna be a bigger window because uh, it's longer there but you still do the same thing and then same on this side but on this side is where it gets a little bit more tricky so you go all the way across on the top but then down here you go three and then leave a space for the door and go three and then you just leave an outline for the door and then you eventually just place your door in here and then um, Sorry, I didn't really come as organized as I planned. Uh, get this white. Uh, you can't. You don't have to do white, but I think white looks the best. White stained glass. You can just do normal glass if you want, and then you just fill in all the places for the windows. All right, I'll give you another chance to pause it, and then you can come back for the next step. Step number three. All right. So, um, uh, oh wait, I missed something on this step, didn't I? You go. For this, you just go, uh, you build up two of the um, stairs. And if you don't understand how that works, it's really simple. You just take your stairs and you place them like that. And then you get up on top here. You like climb up on top if you're in survival. And you just place it like that. And you go all the way around doing that. Okay, now for the, now for the next step. Um, pretty much you got all your windows filled in and everything like that. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep building up like with that stair thing and then on the third stair on the back next to the very end 
these two blocks need to be slabs. Just wood slabs. Um, so, yeah, I'll give you another chance to pause it. Oh, yeah, and also, you come in here and you make the floor. You can make it whatever kind of wood you want, but I chose birch. You do birch wood, and then you build, you dig down two here. Two blocks here, all the way across. All right, I'll give you a chance to pause it, and then uh, I'll give you the fourth step. Okay, for the fourth step, you, it's, everything in the inside is built, but w this is where the, where you dug down two all the way across on the side, that's where this comes in handy. So, what you do is, oh, do you only, oh, you only dig down one, my bad, um, sorry about that, you only dig down one, that, that's gonna really gonna mess some people up, but whatever, so you put the chests, you put two chests, like a double chest right there, and you put a crafting table and a furnace there, then another double chest, and then you take your uh, oak wood stairs and you aim more towards the top of the block, and then those will go upside down. And then um, you can click that and you'll still be able to get into your chests. Uh, Keegan said the eagle has landed in chat, that means he's done with this video. But anyway, um, and then what you also do is you, um, on this next one, you build, like, you finish building the upstairs. Or did we finish that last time? No, we did not. Okay. You build the upstairs, uh, which pretty much you just fill it all in, except you break a block there to get up, and then two blocks right there. So it'll be like an, an L shape, or more maybe like an arrow, whichever one helps you there. And then you place the ladders all the way up, and then a ladder there, and a ladder there. So you can get over here, and then use that to climb up. All right, and then also, uh, you just keep going around with those uh, stairs, and you just keep doing that around and around, and it'll eventually just get smaller and smaller until it'll come to a peak. Okay, and then for the the fifth and final step, I like to add this path that's definitely not mandatory at all, uh, and you can change some stuff in here too if you're in survival, but I just like this, um, like little flower beds out front and uh, a torch to light your doorway and on the inside some more flowers so like along the where your chests are so you can get in there and everything and some bookshelves going up the sides and furnaces over here and then when you come up here you have your bed here that you sleep in uh, you have all your chests here and you can put anything you can put anvils up here you can put a uh, potion creator dealies whatever those things are called, um, and yeah, that's pretty much the main, that's, that's pretty much everything, um, I think I covered everything, so thank you guys for watching, peace out, this has been a 9x8 tutorial house, little cottage, thank you for watching, peace out guys. Hey what's up guys, it's Benjamin1002, and I am with, uh, All Around Gamer, uh, Orly Waythray, whatever one, yeah, but anyway, we're going to give each other tours of the houses that we made uh, for part two of the video. Um, this is my house, and I'm giving All Around Gamer... Where is he at? Right here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm giving him a tour of my household. Um, so, follow this pa like this path. If you get off of it, you'll... They should make yellow brick. So you can go to yeah, yellow follow the yellow brick road. road. Okay, but anyway, I got these beautiful flower beds out front. Some nice wabbits. <laughs> Still very nice wabbits. Okay. He's got this dark oak door. Our dark oak door, yeah, that's sexy. Um, but anyway, I got, uh, so see under here? See these, like, where this up down, that, so downstairs are? If you click there, you can get into the chests. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and then I got bookshelves up the sides. And if you come up here, okay, you gotta watch very carefully. You go over, and then you, like, just kind of... Ah, okay, okay, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty cool, that's pretty convenient. And then you got your bed up here and some more chests and shite. And then you can also put anvils and potion creator dealies. Potion stands. Potion stands. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And you got the craft table and then these beautiful flowers again, and mm -hmm. some books, and a few more furnaces, some and whatever else. Some and it's made out of wool, uh, oak wood, and yeah. It's stained glass. Cool. Okay, white stain. Alright, now right. let's go over to mine. Hey, did you like that house? Did you guys go in that house that... I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you in a little bit. 
I don't know if you did it when you were when you were giving the like whole thing. If you want to. Our old house. No, no, no. The one of your here. Just come here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The one filled. This? With, the what? The one filled with ocelots. Oh, you filled the one with ocelots. Yeah, come here. Come here. Where? Come here. What the frack did all my ocelots go? I don't know. What? There was ocelots. Anyway, so we're gonna. I have two a whole thing filled with ocelots. All right, but anyway. Okay. Well, let's yeah. weather clear. So this is mine. So first, you walk in. You got these two redstone torches. That is, that is of your choice if you want that. You got these fence torches that I've just came up with, and two torches right here, just the ladder. Then a chest, a furnace, and then you can put like I'm not chests, crafting tables. Then you can put put chests right here. And he is redoing my flooring. You're welcome. Yeah, he's making it wool. But uh, so uh, this is pretty much it. And then checkerboard ceiling, just if you want some a new look to your house. Nice. Oh, dude, what the, what the? <laughs> okay, I see how it is. All, All right. right, thank All you guys right. for watching. This is part two um, of the house tutorials. Me and Louis, a uh, freaking all-around gamer, I've been making. Uh, thank you guys for watching. What do you have to say to your fans? Blow me. All right, thanks for watching. Peace out.